Too often, law enforcement officers fall in the line of duty, leaving behind their loved ones. Survivors are left with emotional scars and other burdens, too. And one Hobart Lawrence officer is making a difference for those left behind. Fox 11's Emily Dean has more. It's an early morning swim for Israel Deutsch. The Hobart Lawrence police officer is wearing a wetsuit rather than his usual attire. And I'm doing the Ironman, which is a 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike, and a 26.2 mile run. During the Ironman, Deutsch will wear his full uniform. Magazines and then dummy rounds in them, just to simulate kind of like what I do at work. He's not only putting in countless hours of training. There's days that are extremely difficult. And there's days that are really rewarding. He's also raising funds for concerns of police survivors, an organization that is there every step of the way for those left behind after an officer is killed in the line of duty. I mean, you don't know what the next call you're going to get. Deutsch knew at a young age the law enforcement life was for him, but it was a tragic incident that sparked his career path. The story I have is in 1995. Um, I'm from Race Lake, Wisconsin, which is just north of Eau Claire. And there was an officer that died in the line of duty named Michael Baraboo from Race Lake, and he died because of a domestic violence incident, and he was shot and killed on scene. Deutsch saw how the community reacted to the death and knew a job as a police officer was his calling. I got hired by Hobart Lawrence and learned of their own tragic incident. On July 22, 2002, Stephanie Markins and Bob Etter were killed by a person who intentionally rammed into their squad car at high speed, killing them instantly. We just became new as a department for only one year, and it's a small town and a small village that made up our police department. Opening his eyes to the fact that tragedy can strike anywhere. So I learned at that point that basically the law enforcement officers can die in the line of duty at any department. Leaving behind not only a brotherhood, but loved ones. Here in Wisconsin, we have about 375 survivors on our national list. Denise Held, secretary for the Wisconsin chapter of COPS, became involved with the program several years after her boyfriend, Dave, passed away from complications of losing his leg in the line of duty. Was hired by Minneapolis Police Department, was so excited, and um, six months on the job at 24 years of age, he was hit by a drunk driver and um, lost his leg in the line of duty. Held says COPS' mission is to rebuild shattered lives. From the moment an officer passes away, we can be involved as much as a family or agency would like us to help, from helping to plan the funeral to being at the visitation. Here's one of the brochures the organization gives survivors when they meet them for the first time. It lets them know what type of support services COPS has to offer, whether that's financial support or emotional support. The community is affected, the families are affected, the children, the relatives, uh, the co-workers of the officer that died in the line of duty are all affected by that. COPS doesn't fix anything. We, we, we can't bring the loved one back as much as we'd love to make that happen. That's not reality. But there's something special about being with other people who just understand your pain and get it. Every day I wake up and I read the Officer Down Memorial page, which explains um, officers' names that have died in the line of duty up to date. And I visualize those pictures and their stories. And, and when it gets difficult, I remember Mike and Stephanie and Bob. And that's what gets me through those miles. Emily Deem, Fox 11 News. The Wisconsin Chapter of Cops also offers many different programs for survivors. And for more information, we posted a link on our website, fox11online.com. There you can also find the link to help donate to Israel's cause.